welcome Edson Brefhale. A packed Velocity Lounge at Circuit of the Americas on Friday for a big announcement, a brand new United Soccer League team, Austin Bold FC. Austin's bold, the team's going to be bold, and uh, we say bold in life, bold on the field, and I think that sounds pretty good. So. I asked CODA Chairman Bobby Epstein how this all came about. I got involved with the Aztecs uh, when they were sort of uh, on one leg, and I think we all looked at it and said, why didn't this work? Why do the Aztecs not work here? And, uh, and what can we do to bring a sensational product to uh, Austin? That product is coming together fast. The Austin Bold FC will play its home matches in an intimate 5,000-seat soccer stadium at Coda starting next spring. The team has its head coach, Marcelo Serrano, born and raised in Brazil, currently the head coach and general manager for the U.S. Virgin Islands men's senior national team. We are in the recruiting phase right now, so as you guys can see, we just had four players sign. We have other players sign as well that we cannot uh, tell right now because they are under contracts. Players like Edson Brafite are already on board. Since I could walk, I was running uh, after that ball. My dad was a soccer player, um, so naturally I grew into it. And Marcelo Saragoza. He says the bold is a fantastic opportunity for Austin. Especially for the young kids. I think uh, our, our opportunity to embrace the community, embrace the, the little kids, to show them a little more passion for soccer is, is important here. The rumors are true. The team is hoping to sign Olympic gold medalist Usain Bolt. We have a possibility. Uh, he's choosing either us or a team in Australia. I think we, we're just letting him decide now. So CODA is no longer just cars and concerts. It's soccer, too. But what happens if Austin gets a major league soccer team? Can MLS and USL coexist? For example, in Chicago, uh, the USL team there plays in a stadium that's much bigger than the MLS stadium there. So the, the two leagues can coexist. The team they are going to build might be better than them, so that's what I can say. <laughs> On Wednesday, the Austin City Council met to discuss bringing the MLS team Columbus crew here to build a stadium on city-owned land. Susan Spataro spoke out against it. Spataro told Fox 7 she does property tax work for Circuit of the Americas. Mayor Adler asked her this. I just have a question. Are you being paid to be I am here not. Today? Okay. I am not. It is so offensive to me that the people that are proposing this are accusing anyone that's against it to being paid. I have also been accused of being, quote, in the pocket of Bobby Epstein. And I don't appreciate that either. That's absolutely absurd. Anyone who's against, I don't think anyone's against MLS. I think people are cautious about uh, supporting something unproven with large amounts of, uh, a large, uh, uh, a really large commitment from the taxpayer. Casey Claymore, Fox 7 Austin News.